one of the ways that we've learnt to work out the surface area of shapes like this, these prisms, is to make the net or draw the net of the object. But that is time consuming and we should be able to get to the stage where we can work out the surface area of this just by looking at the object very carefully. So that's what we're going to do in this lesson. If we have a look at this particular example, we're going to calculate the surface of this, it's a rectangular prism. First of all, we need to notice that this prism has six faces. So that means that we've got to do six area calculations or we can do less if there are equal faces on the on the shape which in this case there there is so we're going to work this out first of all we'll look at the area of two sides so we've just got to be very systematic with this we're going to say the area of two sides is equal to two times now let's take the sides here because these are the sides labeled 32 centimeters squared then we've got a front and we've got a back so we can say the area of the front plus area of the back is equal to now we've got um, 28 here so that's two lots of 28 because the front and the back are the same. Now, I'm not writing the units in here, but we mustn't drop the units in the answer. Okay, so it's very important to do that. Now, we've got that part of it. We still need to do the top and the bottom. They're the same as well. So we can say that the area of the top plus the area of the bottom, two of those, so that's two times and in this case it's 56 centimeters squared now our total surface area we can say therefore the surface area is equal to let's write these out two lots of 32 plus two lots of 28 plus two lots of 56 We'll work these out and really you should do these one at a time just in case you make a, a, an error. So 232s are 64. Doubling 28 we get 56. And doubling 56 up here we get 112. Which gives us a total, I'll write this over here, of 232. And let's not forget our units, centimetres squared. What are we trying to do here? Just very systematically look at each part of the shape and work out the areas and then combine them. Let's look at a couple more examples here. Now, I'll just move this up and then down the page a little. There we go. We're going to calculate the area of these shapes. Now, you'll notice that this one is a cube. And so we can simplify this considerably. If we say that the surface area is equal to six times, now there are six sides, but they're all the, so, the same, so six times the area of one face. So this is going to be fairly quick to do. We know that the area of one face is side times side. So substituting this in, we get six of four by four, four centimeters by four centimeters which gives us a total of 96 centimetres squared. So you don't have to work out the areas one after the other. As long as you make sure you cover all the areas, you'll be right. Now here's an example of something that you do have to break up a little bit. So we're going to do this. Just mark this in as A. Mark this in as B. And let's be very, very careful how we do this. So number one, let's work out the area of the front and back. So this will be the front here, and you'll notice that it will be equal to 
if you like, two times the area of the front because they're identical. That means you've got two times length times width. So that would be seven by four. Giving you a total of 56 centimeters squared. So that's two out of the six covered. You can see we're going to have to do this two more times to get the top, the bottom and the two sides. So we're going to work out the area of the sides next. And we would say that we've got the two times the area of one side because they're identical again, area of one side. So that would be two times. So let's look at the side here. It's five centimeters long. So we've got five one way and the height is the same as this one, so that's four centimeters, which which gives us a total of forty centimeters squared. Now we're almost there, but you can't miss any of these out, otherwise your total answer will be wrong. So we've done the fronts, front and back, two sides. Obviously, we're left with the top and bottom. So the area of top and bottom. would be equal to two times the area of the top which is equal to two times length times width again there's my my well we'll do this is our length that's the longest one there's length is seven and the width along this way is five so working all that out two sevens of fourteen and five fourteens seventy centimeters squared. Now I'm going to have to just move this up a little bit to put in the total area. So we could say therefore that the surface area is equal to all of them added up. So we can say 56 plus 40 plus 70. Adding all of that up we get 166. That should be yep, 166 centimeters squared. So this is doing it without a net but you have to be so careful that you make sure you're getting all the measurements correct and that also that you're not leaving any of the, um, the parts out. One last question that we'll have a look at is a shape like this which is typically a shape of a Toblerone packet. It's called a triangular prism and to do this we need to recognize we've got a height and a base here, we've got a length, we've got a slope height, we've got everything we need. So let's break it down now and say that the surface area, the surface area of the two triangles, that's the ends, front and back, so we better put that in there, front and back, Well, that's equal to two times the area of one triangle. Which equals two times area of a triangle is half times base times height. We can substitute in our areas two times half times our base which is 6 times our perpendicular height which is 4 which gives us a total area of 24 centimeters squared for this particular for the ends now of course that's not the end of the question and you've got to be so careful you don't stop there and um, and forget the rest now I'm going to have to move this up a little bit as well and get some more space so I'll see how much space we need. There's number two. What we've got to do now is to work out the surface area of two rectangles to get the sides. So we're going to use this one here and this one here. Now you'll notice that the triangles, the sides are not all the same because this, the base would be 6 by 15 whereas the two sides 
are 5 by 15. And that one going down there is 5 by 15 as well. So we've got two triangles on the sides. We'll write this down. The surface area of two rectangles is going to be equal to 2 times, now we've got length times, we'll call it breadth, it could be width, it doesn't matter, which is 2 times a length of 15. And remember this is the rectangle, so that's the, the um, breadth or the width is 5 centimetres, which gives you a total surface area of 150 centimetres squared. Okay, so now all that we're left with is the base, and there's only one of those, so we need to have the surface area of the base. Now it's a rectangle as well, so the surface area, and there's only one of them, so it's just the length times the breadth of that base. Now notice the B here is going to be different from the B here. So you've just got to take each one separately. So we're going to say that it's got a length of 15 and a breadth in this case not of 5 but of 6. And that turns out to be 90 centimetres squared. So the total surface area, therefore the surface area of the prism is equal to all of them added together. So that would be 24 plus 150 plus, there it is, 90. Adding all those together, we get 264 centimetres squared. Once again, don't forget the units. So now you're going to have to practice these, and it's going to be good if you can get to the stage where you can just look carefully, break it up, bit by bit as you write it without having to draw the net of the object. But don't miss any sides and be careful of all the side lengths. You can't assume, for example, that all of these sides are the same. You've got to look very, very carefully. The sides are different from the base.